Hello there, fellows, and welcome back to Cube World. This is episode 13, and we are on our way to that village over there. Just one quick announcement before we get to that village, as I go and look at this cave, is that we have recently hit over 1,000 views on my videos and 25 subscribers. Now for me, that's huge. And so as a result of that, and kind of coinciding with that, is I will be collaborating with a guy by the name of Jake Red Let's Play. Links in the description. Check him out. And yeah, hopefully we'll be playing a lot of Minecraft together. Don't know about Cube World, but um, yeah, he's a very skilled Minecrafter, especially in the PvP aspects. So there will probably be some Tiger Tactics tactics with him. So, yeah. Ooh, a leaf runner. Let's bring him out onto the open field. Since last episode, actually in the last episode, I leveled up, and before those guys were red difficulty. Now they're not. So... That's actually kind of nice. I'm wondering if I should climb this. Yeah. I should. There we go. That's part one. Here's part two, by the look of it. This part isn't too bad. Climbing in Cube World isn't actually too bad. Wow. That tree looks really awesome. Look at this view. Check this out. That's like a perfect circle. And we're right at the cloud level, too. Wow. Onward to the northwest. That's where the village is. I think I'm going to start to see it soon. It's only a few more chunk things away. It looks like a spike creature. Yep. Let's do this. Hang gliding through the QB world. Come on. No, 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 no. Um, now. Come on. And there we go. Now, let's keep on a-going. Ooh, wizards. wonder if they're on my side. They are not. I g I'm gonna attack them, but I need to dodge that attack. Because when they attack me like that, that, that attack is kind of glitched out, and it'll maximize their attack speed so they actually can deal almost infinite damage it's a lot a lot a lot of damage where'd that last one go right under this tree come on here we go there we are. Beat the wizards under a tree. There we go. Looks like we're almost to that village. I'm gonna make a quick cut and I'll see you when we've gotten a little bit farther. 
Alrighty, so here we are on our way. Sorry about that little cut, I couldn't really help that. But here we are on our way, and George is literally one experience from leveling up. And here's a fly. That will give us that one experience. Here we go, George. Come on. Yes! We've got a level 6 pig now. He's my friend. Ha! Okay, so anyway, we can see the village. It's right over here, actually. I'm getting nice and close. When I get there, I'm going to have to do some resting and all sorts of stuff. But you can see, it's probably going to appear on the map pretty soon. Don't want to attack the parrot, but there it is on the map. And let's see if we can see it. Ooh, there it is. Wow, it's right there. And it's it's like really cool looking too. Wow. Wow. This looks really nice. Cube World is an awesome game. This is looking really, really nice. Alright, um, I'm going to see if I can't find an inn or some place that would have a bed for me to sleep, sleep in for just a sec. Um, actually, there, there's the shop. Let's go ahead and head in there. Check this out. See if they've got any good... Here we go. Oh boy, I've got a whole ton of junk. Oh man, I'm probably gonna sort through that off camera, but ooh, bubble gum. I always use that. Let's make glass glass as we can buy. They're always good to have around. Alright. Um do we have Yes we do. We we've got a boat and we've got a glider. Um, it looks like we've got a whole ton of random weapons and armor. I'll, I'll have to go through those off camera because that would be kind of boring. But, yeah, and parrot feathers. I think those are kind of useful. Um, shimmer frooms. Cool. Silver cubes, and nuggets, and cubes. There. Um. Wow, we've got a lot of pet food. Pretty sure this is for a forest runner. This is for a sheep. This might be for a mole. Um, I don't know that. Don't know that. Actually, these are for. The white alpaca and the brown alpaca, I think. This is for a pink slime, obviously. And bubblegum, I think, is for a terrier. Don't really know. Um, I do know that we can always use a few bombs. And we, what level are we? Right over here, as our power level, looks like we're power level 24. That's actually really nice. We'll use those sometimes. They're not used too often, but um, they are used every now and then. So we might as well buy buy them when we can. Um, anything for a. That looks nice. Uh, um, I'm just buying whatever I can use eventually. So, power 80 stuff, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, to get that high of a level. See, the way it works, in Cube World, 
there are two things. Mm -hmm. There is your level. It's right up here in the corner. Um, here. Um, you can see it here. My level is 7. My power level is 24. The level, all that the level does, does for you is give you skill points. Um, the power level is completely separate. It's oh, kind of separate. It um, It's determined by your level, but it's not exactly related to your level. Um, so it's designed to be an infinite system so that your power level is relative. Um, so as you're leveling up when you're a lower level hero, you gain a lot more power a lot more quickly. Um, but when you're a little bit higher than higher level, um, it gains more slowly. So it's kind of a quadratic. That's probably too much to ask you guys to remember. I'm I'm something of a math nerd, but oh well. Um, power level goes from 0 to 100, and level goes from 0 to infinite. And as you level up, your power level increases a lot more quickly when you're a lower, lower level than if you're at a higher level. So when I'm level 1 to level 2, my power level increases by some ridiculous number like 7 or 8. But if I'm level 20 to level 21, my power level will only incre increase by like 1 or 2, if any at all. Whereas if I'm level 50 to level 51, it might not increase at all. All this makes Cube World kind of a weird system, and it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, but it does make it very interesting and fun to play. Because as soon as you get started, things get easier and easier as you go along. While still remaining a little bit challenging, just for the fun. Alright. Um, I think that I might end the episode there. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. The power level is what determines what equipment you can wear. For instance, this silver ring says power one. Um, I'm actually like pointing at it at my screen, but you guys can't see my hands, so that's not going to help you. Um, but the, the silver ring says power one, my silver amulet says power five, and as long as my power level is greater than or equal to that, then I can use it. A lot of my stuff is power level five and power level one, so I'm probably going to replace most of it. Um, you can see at my power level, power level 24, I've got some iron boots, and they're actually not much better than the iron boots that I've got right now, but um, this shoulder armor is much, much better. So I'll, I'll have to go through that. Anyway, I think that I'll have to end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed. Um, we're finally in the jungle village. Between episodes, I'm going to do a little bit of exploring and sell all my stuff and get all that boring stuff out of the way that's not fighting. And possibly next episode, we'll be working on a new weapon. Maybe another great sword, maybe a great mace. I always did like those maces. So, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed. And until next time, so long!